Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I don't know about you, but when it comes to entertainment, I gotta say, I love Neil Simon. And uh, we've uh, we've got uh, some great guests here that uh, know a little something about Neil Simon. We've got uh, Richard Bug here, who's the uh, founder and executive producer of the Neil Simon Festival. Mm -hmm. And with him, our good friend Clarence Gilliard. Welcome back. I'm so Clarence. glad to be back. It's great to have you guys both here in studio as uh, we're getting ready to enjoy the production of The Foreigner mm -hmm. over at the Egyptian Theater. Yes. Right. Yes, it is a farce about racism. So everybody has to come see that. Right? <laughs> you have no excuse to miss it. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We're, yeah. we're in the rehearsal process and we open, when do we open? The 11th. 11th. Right. Yeah, right. We've the got Theater. four shows. Mm -hmm. Four shows and then... Runs Thursday through Sunday. <coughs> well, I'm going to ask you right out of the gate, Richard, what uh, made you decide to bring Neil Simon, uh, the Neil Simon-esque productions, uh, you know, out to the fore? Well, I started the Neil Simon Festival about 13 years ago, and um, we have just looking to expand. Uh, I know there was a theater company here in town that was functioning years ago and kind of went defunct, but the, they still wanted productions. And uh, right. I just called up and said, well, what would you think of us bringing one up? And Randy said, that would be great. You know, <laughs> so, Absolutely. so we started that, I think, about five years ago. Uh, we bring one or two shows up every, every summer. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys uh, you are here for about a week, typically, mm -hmm. uh, not including all the practice <coughs> all, all the yeah. time ahead right. of time. You guys are here, what, uh, two weeks in advance uh, right, or more? Right. Yeah, normally, yeah. normally we bring shows up that we've already produced down there and rehearsed. Yeah. And, uh, but this year, we're trying it, uh, opening one of our shows here first, and then we're taking it down. Wow. So. So and then we're different. back in the end, right? Yeah, we're bringing another show back at the, in August. So. Oh, is that right? Right. Yeah, right so I get right. to have you guys back in studio right. in August? <laughs> exactly. For my birthday. <laughs> That's Sorry. Oh, Thank good. you. Sorry, but yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. thrilled. Yeah. No, this is, it's terrific. So, so tell me a little bit about The Foreigner. This one's a little different. As you right. said, it's, right. Uh, right. it's a comedy. It's definitely a comedy. It's right. a oh, yeah. big, broad <laughs> comedy about... But about uh, racism? A comedy yeah, about racism? Yeah, because these two British guys uh, come to Georgia. They come to backwater Georgia. Uh, one of the British gentlemen uh, comes to give uh, instruction to the United States military, but he brings his best friend over who is going through uh, a very bad relationship with his wife, right? And he okay. wants to give him about three days to detoxify and, and just cool down and sort of assess the situation. But the friend who's having difficulty with his wife doesn't want to talk to anybody. Uh -huh. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. So he, the, the, the military guy engineers it so that he doesn't have to talk to anybody. As a matter of fact, he's a foreigner. He doesn't even speak English, <laughs> but he does, okay. right? So now he's set in this backwater lodge in Georgia where people think that they can do and say anything around him. Which always worries us when we try to do this when <laughs> we're right. traveling. That's right. Not that's a right. good plan. And that's where it, that's where it <laughs> takes off. That's Hilarity where, ensues. Yeah. That's right. That's where the play takes off. Talk to me about the, because as a, you're a tenured professor at UNLV. And yes, I am. Yes, and you've been <laughs> teaching all. All I gotta, I gotta throw this out there. <sighs> <laughs> He's sundown on uh, Top Gun. That's right, uh, there's yes. a, and a tenured professor. And a tenured professor. <laughs> uh, coming from that, from from the teaching perspective, to getting a chance to get on stage yourself a little bit more. Right, right. Talk to me about the joy of that, because I know that you well, long for the summers right, to get to get a, to, right. to, to do the craft. Well, yourself. you know, we're becoming friends, so I share with you that I had this sort of reassessment of my life after yeah. we shut down Walker and I had worked 15 years straight on network television put some money in the bank yeah, and Matt so, Walk and Walker right, Texas Ranger exactly. and a bunch of stuff. So what I did was I got married and said I'm gonna really 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 be a daddy and a, a husband and so I went to grad school yeah. Right? I took three that's years. That's what dads do. Right, that's right. That's so what I'm doing. Right. Yeah, so do. so, exactly. So I went to grad school to get a graduate degree. And Richard and I, you know, we have graduate degrees in theater, in the boards, right? And that's what I wanted to do because I wanted to go to New York and I still want to go to New York. But the point is, is that there are two different um, art venues, forms. right? They're two different yeah. art forms. Working in the theater is not working in television, and so I had yeah, to go exactly. go and learn it. 
Well, the, the, the craft uh, of acting in a, you know, in a TV studio is it's very formalized. You do this, you go here, you're, it's all lined up. There's paint marks for everything. And it's teeny, 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 yeah. teeny, 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 teeny. It's very, very intimate, right? Right. Right. It's very, very, very subtle. But when it's an audience and you have to figure out your own movements and your own placing and, and, and yeah. getting around and open not your mouth. And the you know in, in, <laughs> in television and film, the editor controls your performance. And right. uh, on stage, you're pretty much in charge. Right. I tell my students, my early early students, I say, you know, you got to hit a home run every night. That's your job. Right. Right. Yeah. You got to go four for four in a home run every night. <laughs> right. Whereas on, on a yeah. you know on a sound stage and on yeah. film on location. Strike one. Let's and do it again. Cut. We're gonna go again. <laughs> We're gonna right. back it up. You know. Right. I, I sabotage my shots if I don't like it to start over. Oh, again. we all do that. We don't <laughs> talk. We don't, what right. are you telling these guys? The right. producers probably hearing this right <laughs> now right. and starting to understand right. why we do so many it's takes. Right. It's actually Tuesday night right now. <laughs> it's not Wednesday morning. We're doing this all. That's. <laughs> Oh, it's got to no. be fun, uh, you know, with the opportunity to involve so many good people uh, in your productions because oh, you yeah. get to pick, you get to really uh, you've got obviously pick of the litter here, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but in addition to that, there's a community theater involvement uh, feel to it as well. That's kind of fun. It is. We we uh, audition pretty uh, all over. Right? We go to L.A. and Las Vegas and all over Utah, but we we end up finding a lot of our talent locally, and yeah. because they're really good. Not we don't we aren't just settling. <laughs> you know, they're really right? good, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's nice to have that. It's nice to have that hometown feel. Yeah, the so, cast the cast of this for the foreigner is exceptional. Oh, really, we're gonna have see. we're having a good time. That's the part that really matters. If you're not having a good time, it's right. not a, lot harder, a lot harder to hit those home runs, isn't it? Well, when you when you cast and then you tell the cast, you know, when you're on stage, you get to eat scenery. Actors just go crazy. They go, oh, all right, <laughs> really? Do anything? That's right. You can do that. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Yeah. So after we uh, run uh, the show here mm -hmm. from the 11th to the 17th. Right. Then what happens? We head right back to uh, to Cedar City and start rehearsals for our, our other three shows. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing four shows in repertory down there. Uh, that they run July eighth through August eighth, uh, uh, and then uh, about a week after that, we head back up here. You'll bring and, those shows uh, back up to us. Yeah, we're going to be doing. Uh, they're playing our song, which is a Neil Simon, Marvin Hamlish musical. Oh boy! Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. going to be fun. Great. What's right? your role? I'm not in that. He's not in You're that. Not going to be in that one, Clarence. No. 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 He is, Are you coming uh, to support it? Well, I am. Okay, I am. Good. And, but we're doing a show together. Yep. Richard and I. You can't see it, but he has a Jewish bone in his left <laughs> arm. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And we're doing. Um, I'm not Rappaport. I'm not Rappaport. Which is a tremendous. It is a tremendous show. show. Oh, a yeah. Tremendous yeah. Show. I can't tremendous wait to show. see this. The, the writing on it is spectacular. Oh, yeah. uh, the performances are difficult. Yeah. It's very challenging. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, it's going to be we really both fun. are playing 80-year-olds, which right. is getting easier every day. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. Guys, I want to thank you so very much <laughs> for being here. Yeah, he, he's getting older as we go. I guess yeah. we better wrap it up. Yes, yeah, we'll old. see you next year, though. Okay, no, Joe. I am so okay, I'm so great. stoked uh, to to see the foreigner again. It's the 11th to the 17th at the Egyptian Theater. You can go to the uh, website and get tickets, or go right up to the theater uh, if you remember the. Pharaoh's Club, of course, you have an opportunity to get even better seating. So you sit right there and get the best performance from our friend Clarence Gilliard, uh, who that threatens, close. yeah, he threatens that close to, to it as he's <laughs> enunciating, threatens to get a little that's right, spittle. real that's theater, right? right. Yeah, it's going to get real theater. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you so very Thanks. much for Thanks, being Joe. here. Yep. All Thank right, you, Joe. we'll be back with more right here on the Mountain Morning Show. We're going to be in the kitchen and uh, a whole lot more. Clarence says he's sticking around for that. Yeah. We'll be back after this. <laughs>